Hello folks, it's me Gavilla and we're to do a ranking video on the Fear Street movies. Yes, the, all three of them were released uh, July 9, July 16, and uh, when was the third one released? I forgot when the third one was released, but, and it's probably around July 20 or 21 or whatever. Anyways, yes, these Fear Street films were critically received as awesome. There's like zero ones that are released under 60% on Rotten Tomatoes. And a lot of fans really enjoy this trilogy. I do too, but let's figure out what is my favorite movie in the franchise. And before we start, I have never read a Fear Street movie, or er, read a Fear Street book, but I have read Ghosts of Fear Street. It's a middle grade horror, uh, like a spin off series from Fear Street. It's for like kids. Yeah, it's ghost written. It's not, it's not written by Arl Stein at all. Yeah, Arl Stein had zero, had never wrote a single word in the franchise. In the Ghost Fear Street books, he never wrote anything in the books. He, he only like a uh, only Ghost Riders show up there, yeah. And uh, I have a Halloween. There's a like, Ghost of Fear Street books that's actually a Halloween one. It's called Halloween Books. Maybe that'll be reviewed this year. Yeah, and probably next month. Yeah, because uh, I have a lot of other ideas to do, like the re like the re reviews and uh, the ranking with Grace and the Goose on Skin. Anyways, let's start this baby now, guys. Anyways. Coming in last place, you got part one, 1994. I guess this is probably everyone's least favorite movie. Originally, 1666 was actually the worst one in the trilogy. But then I bumped it up, and you'll know where it is later. Anyways, I've rewatched the movies uh, like uh, back yesterday and today. Yeah. I rewatched uh, the first two movies yesterday, yesterday and, I the, and I watched the third movie today. Yeah. Good times. Anyways, part one. I kind of get the least enjoyment out of this one because there's like less uh, great things about it than the sequels forward. It's kind of funny that um, even though people would say horror classics always are awesome because the first movie is awesome. Like, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street. Friday, no, not Friday the 13th, not that. Uh, Halloween, yeah, Halloween, Scream, uh, I guess take Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Child's Play, Conjuring, whatever. Yeah, that's what people say as like the best horror movies, and the sequels are always usually terrible. Like, like um, Jason, I think Jason goes to L or uh, uh, um, Halloween's Halloween Five or Six or Nightmare on Elm Street um, Five or Six. Yeah, that's what, yeah. Most of the bad movies in the franchise are mainly the fifth movies, but yeah, Fear Street. There's no bad movies. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I have not watched any Halloween movie or Nightmare on Street movie or Friday the 13th movie or Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I, I watched Final Destination and I watched the Fear Street, Fear Street films and I, I think I watched a bit of The Nun. That, those are the only few horror movies I've actually watched. It. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, I'm aware of these horror icons. So, so let's talk about more of part one. So anyways, the, the plot of part one is that some teenagers so, mm, find out about the nose. Have like a you know go, going to sunny, going like a memorial for the, the mall massacre after what happened with Ryan Torres in the mall, and uh, after, after an accident that uh, one of the kids, uh, our main character's girlfriend, uh, bleeds bleeds on Sarah Peter's bones, uh, which um, which a bunch of killers come in and try to attack and try to find Sam the the, the girl who bleed up blood on the bones I mean on the body yeah, uh, so that the, so that everything will be all over. So it's up for the kids to stop these killers before. So it's up for them to to kill Sam before the killers actually do. Yeah. So that's the plot for 1984, and it's a good plot. I think, in my opinion, I I don't know what is better, this or Goosebumps book, Goosebumps movie one. Yeah. Uh, these movies are rewatchable. As much as the Goosebumps movies too. Yeah. Yeah. If I had to pick one, I. Yes, I read and watch the Fierce movies over the Goosebumps movies. Now, I'm not saying Fierce is better than Goosebumps. No, I have not read a Fierce book at all. I don't even know too much about Fierce at all. Anyways, anyways, yeah, yeah, but I kind of love these movies more than the Goosebumps movies, in my opinion. I think everybody would agree with that. Rather than would probably say yes, because most of the Fierce movies are like 80 plus percent whatever. Anyways, yeah, it's a pretty uh, good movie. Really enjoyed. Has some really nasty kills, like the bread slicing. Yeah, we all love that. Axe to the head. Yeah, or the or the knife to the or or the 
or the knife or the knife there in the opening, yeah, definitely I call it kills. <laughs> yeah, but um, my opinion, even though the, the other ones have really good kills, this one has the best kill involving the bread slicer. Really good kill. Anyways, number two, six, seven, 1978. Yeah. Part 2, 1978. Orig yeah. Yeah, originally it's actually the best one trilogy. Till I rewatched 1666 and I was like, I think that's I think that would be better than this one. Anyways, um, yeah, 1978 is a really good movie. Has, um, continues for part one left off. You know, with Dina going to see Berman and, and uh, she tell, and her telling Dina and Josh about her experience in Camp Nightwing. What's actually a famous location in Fear Street? And actually appeared in the Fear Street book, Lights Out, which I do not have that book. Anyways, I do know that fact anyways, yeah. Anyways, um, Anyways, one day, um, the sisters, Baron sisters, went to camp. One week later, one of the sisters is dead. Yeah, thanks to a maniac swing axe killer. Yeah, yeah. Tommy's a really great villain. Definitely one of the one of my favorite shitty side monsters. Um, nice return of the other shitty side monsters. And I'm really disappointed that the Billy Barker and the others never actually um did too much. Yeah, sure, it makes sense because the top. This is more like Tommy's movie than the others. So, yeah, I kind of wish that the other characters, uh, like other monsters, like Grifter, yeah, really good, cool monster, would have got a better appearance than just in the background. That's kind of like how people would say to the Haunted Mask there in the first movie, Goosebumps, yeah. Monsters need more screen time, yeah. Anyways, yeah, really good, the movie, really good kills, the axe to the face or the axe decapitation and the. And the fact that Tommy killed kids, wow. Not, not teenagers, I meant actual kids, yeah. Like under 13, whatever, yeah. Really, really. They ain't gonna play around, guys. And this one has some of the saddest scenes in the franchise when uh, the Berman sisters get axed and knifed, yeah. Oof. Very sad. Although they cry, but yeah, definitely a sad scene, yeah. And one of the Nebula's movie that Nick the Spears trap half the movie, which would give away the twist ending of part 3, but anyways, let's move on to part number 1, 1666. Originally, the first time I watched this movie, I was getting bored. Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, is how is this movie gonna up, keep, keep up? That's my reaction to how I watched Back to the Future part 3. Yeah, they had the same reaction to 1666. Weird, I guess the ones that take place in the really like under the 1900s. Are really always like the boring ones but nope i rewatched back to future 3 and this movie really 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 good yeah definitely a really good movie i think um i think the twist that sarah Pierre was uh, actually a good girl was um sort of predictable not really predictable i guess but yeah it's nice that the, the movies that uh, try to make us hate her in the first uh, two movies and in the third movie we all liked her again yeah and then we all hate Sheriff Good. Yeah, that good boy is one bad boy. Oops, spoiler alert. And who grabs the book at the end? We don't know. Hope there's going to be another Fear Street franchise coming up. Fear Street movie coming up. Anyways, yeah, really good um, for good first half and a really awesome second half. I think the part two of 1984 is definitely better than part one itself and the whole franchise. Yeah, part two of 1984 is definitely awesome. Has some really good Home Alone homages. Yes, because this movie takes place right after Home Alone 1 was released and the second movie also. So yeah, really good references to Home Alone and the uh, nice return of the shady side villains. Yeah, nice to see all the monsters kicking butt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and the gore. Yeah, very, very, very good. Yeah, and also the part when uh, Sarah Pierre got arm cut off, I was like, ooh, ow. Yeah, definitely, uh, that's more like a, like, like a, ooh, ow moment. Than having Sam Jackson's arm getting coughed up, um, like ripped off in Jurassic Park One, just because it's not really surprising for me. Just because I, I think I watched Jurassic Park One a lot of times, and we never actually saw him die. So yeah, anyways, yeah, Part Three definitely awesome. Sarah Pierce death very tragic and emotional and stuff. Even though I didn't cry, I told you that in the last video, guys. Anyways, really, really good franchise, guys. Recommend this one. Definitely one you should watch in Halloween. And yeah. And yeah, is it better than the Dixon's movies? As I've said, yes. And um, I'd give all of these three movie, these um, movies like a 
8.5 to a 9. Yeah, they're definitely some of the best movies I've seen in this year. I think 66 is actually my favorite movie I've seen this year. Yeah. Okay, yes, you can say, oh, Godzilla is called awesome. Okay. Um, Loud House movie, awesome. Um, yeah, 66 is awesome. Really great movie. But I think the Camp Cretaceous um, content that we got this year are, is like the best content we got uh, in 2021. Yeah. Yeah, I think Camp Cretaceous season 3 is the best thing we got in 2021 for entertainment. Yes, yeah, so I'm also counting like versus uh, this movie and that season. Yeah. I think I'd rather watch uh, that season over the, or the, over any movie that I've seen uh, this year. Yeah. That season was phenomenal, guys. Phenomenal. Anyways. What you guys think of uh, Fear Street, Fear Street franchise? I've seen a lot of reviews, and uh, and I'm really excited to see my uh, Discord friends, you know, looking at your completions, review these movies. Yeah, very good entertainment value. Definitely one that uh, will not keep you bored. Yeah, originally I was actually bored with 666. Okay, I keep repeating myself again. Sorry, guys. And then I loved it again the second time. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Thanks for watching this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And for those who hate 666, go back and rewatch the movie. Definitely a really good movie. And I also rewatched this in parts here that's really. Uh, besides the whole cutting up thing or Seraphy being hanging on a tree, uh, the part with the, the dead, with the eyes being taken out of those kids. Yeah. Ugh. And, um. Or the uh, pig eating the babies. Ugh. And definitely, uh, this, uh, this show she has amazing actors, especially Sadie Sink. Yeah. Never watched Shading. I have never watched on Stranger Things, but she's excellent in these movies. Anyways, what do you guys think of the Fear Street movies? And um, what is your favorite book in the Fear Street franchise? Oh, move the camera. <laughs> I'm my phone. Anyways, bye guys. I hope you subscribe to the channel and please watch my Jurassic Park kills kills some um, uh, ranking video. Yeah, that um, those videos. Um, you don't need to search that. You need to. Uh, I won't put them in the description. No, no, no. You can just search them up on YouTube and you can watch them. Yeah. Yeah, please, guys, watch the video and uh, watch those videos because uh, they only have one view. Yeah, yeah. You need more views for those videos, guys. So that they won't be overlooked by others. Anyways, bye, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you have. Hope you have a good day and stay creepy forever. Ha!